my last video outside like I was used to, but I used to have an external mic and I don't at the moment. Um, and it was really windy and the chickens were really loud and uh, so I thought I'd come inside for this video and I thought I'd sit where you can see my lovely painted dog painting because I love her so much <laughs> I'm doing a uh, fairy loop box today which I think the theme is trials and tribulations or something like that and that's awesome trials and retributions so I was close now they said there was something I think there's one of the um, oh, I keep waving my hand around they said there was a much requested item which they've never included before in this box so I'm intrigued as what it is oh I've got a pin banner with a sword and they also said one of the items was um, one of the items was fandom neutral, so I think that might be this one. Not sure. I've got socks. Gideon the Ninth socks. So if you saw in my last video, I'd put um, Harrow the Ninth on my TBR for this month, but uh, I probably won't actually be reading it this month. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh. Oh, a little adventure. Oh, photo album. No, it's not. It's a book for all those little um <gasps> for all the art prints you get. That's a really good idea. I often sort of end up like I put some of them on the wall sometimes, but. They end up floating around, so I don't really know what to do with them. So now I've got a place to collect them, and then I can look through and be like, oh yeah, I remember that, that was so cute. Oh, something blinks. Oh, two something blinks. Ah, I think this is letter opener. It is. Oh, wow. I think that's Caraval, but I haven't read Caraval. So I guess I'll find out in a minute. Got gorgeous, gorgeous, like spider webby, cobwebby things on the blade. And I lost my last one, so I was really hoping for a new one. So <laughs> hopefully, I won't lose this one. It's lovely. This also clicks, though, and this is, I want to say, spoons. Oh! Never seen one like that before. This is straws. And I think they're all slight no, there's two narrow ones and one wide one and they've got like a little Greek um motif down the outside. So that's really subtle. They did say there was something based on Greek mythology, and I'm guessing it's this, and it comes with a thing to clean it with. So that's really lovely. Oh, it says Lure Metal Straws. So I've not read Lure, but again, it doesn't look like I need to have read the book in order to use the straws. Okay, and here is the book and the... Um, Tarot cards. I'm guessing they're inspired by the month, book of the month, but I don't know. The book of the month is a gorgeous character art reader letter thing. Bookmark. The Darkening by Sunya Mara. A fierce revolutionary, a desperate prince, together they will face the storm or be swept away. So it's got these gorgeous end covers, character art. And the 
um, don't know what that is, inscription on the front. Prince Salco was born for one purpose, to protect his home from the storm, a deadly force that surrounds his city and curses everyone it touches. Vesper Vale is the daughter of failed revolutionaries. Since the Queen sentenced her mother to death by the storm, she and her father have been on the run. So when the Queen's soldiers, led by Prince Dalka, catch up to Vesper's father, she will do whatever it takes to save him from sharing her mother's cruel fate. Even arm herself with her father's book of dangerous experimental magic. Even infiltrate the Prince's elite squad of soldier sorcerers. Even cheat her way into his cold heart. But when Vesper learns that there's more to the story of her mother's death and that her home is in dire peril, she has little choice. Trust the devious prince with her family's secrets or follow her mother's footsteps into the storm. Now that is giving me um, vibes of... There was a book before about... Um, it, was, it was an illness and uh, control of, of medicines and it was about how you control medicine as it gets into the populace and how you make sure that the rich don't end up saving themselves at, at, um, at the uh, expense of the poor. And it was really good. Um, and that's given me those vibes. But I think it's going to be completely different, but that's just what I thought of. So I am going to go ahead and read some... Yeah, I'm quite excited about that. Okay. Right. So this says Metal Straws featuring a beautiful Greek pattern, which is what I picked up. Oh. <laughs> Collectible letter opener inspired by Lila from a Dark Shade of Magic. So I was completely wrong and I have read that. Oh and of course uh they're the shades the London shades, not card suits, which is what I read them as. So it's got a weird, like with this big handle, it's got a slightly weird um, weight to it. Print album. Uh, perfectly fits your art prints and monthly theme cards. Great for keeping the collection together in a safe place. Which is exactly what I said, isn't it? <laughs> and this is the land of mutual items. Pin Banner is themed after Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, which I don't remember even hearing of before. I sort of made my own Pin Banner, um, but it's still, a, it's still in the box somewhere for my move, so I'm not sure whether I'll transfer them over or what I'll do with this, but it's nice anyway. And Gideon the Night Sock designed by Forensics and Flowers. I think I've had something from them before and they're very lovely. And then the book of the month uh, which we've talked about before and the tarot cards what's my tarot cards were Blood Scion by Deborah Fowler. Tarot cards, which I haven't read, but you know, maybe one day. So many books, so little time. So, what do you think? You excited about the book? Have you heard of it? I'm wondering whether I can fit it into my August TBR. I'm not quite sure, but I don't see why not. And uh, yeah, it's a nice character art from the book and uh, the bookmark and I think that's everything okay so have a good month and I'm hoping to come back to you in a week or two with a how my August TBR is going all right I will see you soon have a lovely August bye